So I recently switched back to the iPhone, not this iPhone. And here are five apps that help me get my work done. And this video is sponsored by DrivePlay. Let's get into it. Number five is Park, the first app I open every single morning. So Apple Mail is good, but it never really delivers my mail notifications on time, unless my phone is plugged in. Gmail is good, but only for Google accounts. I want one app that serves as my mail client and Spark does it and it does it really good. You can add any of your mail accounts and it categorizes mails according to the importance. Let's face it, we all get useless mail notifications sometimes. Spark cleans it all up with only leaving you with important ones and keeps the rest in notifications. It also shows your unopened mails first, which is pretty useful too. And if you don't like this categorization, you can also turn it off easily. It's a great app, I'm not gonna lie. Number four is Darkroom. Now there are a bunch of editors on the App Store like Visco, Lightroom, Snapseed and many more. But what sets Darkroom apart is that it's way quicker to edit photos with. Now let's take Lightroom for example. I have to import the photo into Lightroom and then I can start editing it. But with Darkroom, as soon as I open the app, I can select the photo I want to edit and start editing right away. It has a lot of controls and filter options too, which is useful. They aren't complex to use, so even if you are a beginner, you can work your way through it. Some features such as curves and a few filters are behind a $3 paywall, but the rest of it is free. It also has a lot of granular controls such as editing just the foreground instead of the background. And you can also even color grade videos on Darkroom, something that no photo editor can do. <laughs> Anyways, pretty great app. Number three is DrivePlay, who's also the sponsor of this video. So DrivePlay is an app which makes using your phone on a car easier. Let's say you want to listen to music from your phone on your commute. Well, the experience can be a little cumbersome with tiny controls and you need to concentrate on the road, not on your phone. And DrivePlay fixes that. It makes your iPhone experience in the car easier. So right off the bat, this app lets you control your music. Currently, it is limited to Apple Music, but Spotify will be added soon. It has huge labels and controls for ease of use when you're driving your car. You have even convenient shortcuts for shuffle and repeat. And you don't have to hit the buttons to skip or go back to a song. You can change them with a single swipe too, which is helpful. These are the controls that you want to quickly access, so that's really good. You can also quickly pull up your library and select from your library with just a swipe. And you can customize the layout too. You can add your heavy rotations or even your favorite album and playlists. Now let's say you want to call someone quickly. With a swipe, you can also select from your six favorite contacts and start a call. This is something that you would do on your phone while you're driving. So having quick access to your favorites reduces interaction with your phone while you're driving on the road. It also shows you the weather quickly and a speedometer to show the speed you're driving in. It's a pretty useful app when you're driving a car. And a sub to this channel would be beautiful. Like these mountains. Come on, do it. Number two is ProCam. Now the stock iPhone camera is great. It's easy to click pictures with, but sometimes you might prefer granular controls like a real camera. So that's what ProCam does. Now there are other options such as Halide or Filmic Pro, but those are way more expensive compared to ProCam and actually ProCam is great on its own. You have control over your ISO, shutter speed, white balance, focus and exposure. It also offers focus peaking if you're interested in that. It's way better than the stock iPhone camera if you want the versatility and you can also even take TIFFs or raw photos. You have a lot of frame rate options for video as well. And also you have a lot of smaller options that you can tweak with. Now this is a paid app like the others but compared to Filmic Pro or Halide, it's cheaper and it's fully featured. Number one is Authy. Now as someone who manages a lot of social media accounts with two-factor authentication, using them across devices can be a huge pain. If I need to set up all my authentication codes on a new device, I will have to reset my current codes and set them up again. Or if I have to use them on my computer, I have to get my phone just for that. Authy fixes that by assigning all my two-factor codes into one app that can be used cross-platform and it is all linked to your Authy account. So if you do need to switch devices like I do, this will be so useful. And they also have an Apple Watch app if that's something you're into. Two-factor authentication is something that is really important in these times where passwords cannot be really secure. So that's about it for this video. Make sure to drop a like and thanks for watching. This is Thank You and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Peace. I want controls. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs>